Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. One of the good things of time allocation is it does give us more time with the Minister here on the floor of the House of Commons, particularly to speak on justice issues. And I spoke in debate on this bill last week with respect to the charter statement document that her department is developing for each piece of legislation. My concerns about the so-called charter statement is that it could send a chill, suggesting the government feels that there would be no charter uh, claims available when it is not Parliament that determines whether there's a charter violation, but it is a court, Madam Speaker. I'd refer the Minister specifically this morning to the uh, editorial by Chief Fox on Bill C-69 in the Globe and Mail, demonstrating that the charter statement in that piece of legislation obviously did not respect the views of many Indigenous leaders. So we're talking about justice, we're talking about the, the charter statements. I'd like the Minister to comment on how her department uh, uh, consults with respect to charter statements for their legislation if there are Indigenous rights uh, underlying the substance of the bill. In the case of Chief Fox's commentary, it was C-69 and its anti-pipeline focus. But I'd like the Minister to comment broadly on the use of charter statements on how she obtains input from Indigenous leaders in preparation of that statement. The RO Minister. Well, thank you, Madam Speaker. And, uh I appreciate the member from Durham raising charter statements because I think that, uh, well, I don't think, this is one of the significant pieces of Bill C-51 that when uh, hopefully it becomes law will be a direct responsibility of the government to introduce charter statements with each government piece of legislation. And um, I would be happy to speak with the member from Durham at any time, not necessarily in this House, about the robust legislation and activities of the Department of Justice so I would extend that invitation to him. But in terms of charter statements, charter statements are the responsibility of the Minister of Justice to look at government legislation and um Charter statements are not legal opinions, but they uh, detail uh, where the charter is potentially engaged by a piece of legislation that the government is putting forward. It provides a window into how um, government decisions are made or the thought process that government went through in terms of putting forward a piece of legislation. This is something that has not been done before. This is something that is contained within Bill C-51 and will, um, within the coming into force of Bill C-51, the charter statements will be applicable to all government pieces of legislation.